With the help of space observatories, we have realized that there's so much more to the cosmos than we can perceive. The emptiness of space extends indefinitely in every direction. This led to a common knowledge that there's no limit to the universe. Since the speed of light is limited, a fixed amount of time is required to cover a certain distance. However, astronomers used the James Webb Space Telescope to return to the cosmos's edge and discovered something unexpected. What is this shocking discovery and how does this affect the existence of life in the universe? Stay tuned as we delve deeper. Six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, unité, top. And we have engine start. And lift off. Décollage. Décollage, lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. The present size of the cosmos, as measured by the observable universe, is around 95 billion light years in diameter. Although some experts feel its full magnitude is much more terrifying than this. Using Bayesian model averaging, scientists determined that the universe is at least 250 times bigger than the visible universe, or at least 7 trillion light years in diameter. This model considers how probable a model is to be right given the data rather than how well it matches it. There may be more incredible ways to calculate the actual size of our universe. Many cosmologists believe that the universe is flat and may continue to expand indefinitely. Nonetheless, the odds are pretty strong that our universe is larger than the visible universe. Due to its finite size, our observable universe is limited in some way. Light from many locations in the cosmos is just too far away to have reached Earth in the brief period since the Big Bang. Therefore, no message or signal from these distant locations has ever reached Earth. Each point in space has a limited field of view that it cannot cross. This does not imply there is some kind of energy barrier or enormous void beyond the reaches of our cosmos. The edge denotes the cutoff points between the visible and invisible regions of the universe to people on Earth. Even if the world we see has a boundary, the cosmos are boundless and endless. Thankfully, the JWST has greater sensitivity and covers longer wavelengths of light than the Hubble. Webb can view the earliest galaxies formed in the early cosmos and gaze within dust clouds where stars and planetary systems are developing today because of the longer wavelengths. Light from an ever-increasing number of distant sources has finally reached Earth. As a result, the size of the cosmos we can see expands with time. Therefore, you may assume that once infinite time has passed, the whole universe will be visible to mankind. However, there is a problem that makes this impossible. The very fabric of the cosmos is expanding. The present rate of cosmological expansion is slower than before the Big Bang, yet it is no less real or significant. Every galaxy cluster is steadily becoming further distant from every other as the universe expands. Due to the accelerating evolution of the universe, many galaxies are already moving away from Earth at a rate more significant than the speed of light. While special relativity ensures that no two nearby things can ever move faster than the speed of light in relation to each other, the expansion of the universe allows for distant objects to move away from each other at velocities more remarkable than the speed of light. Since these galaxies are moving away from Earth at a rate more significant than the speed of light, no time spent waiting for their light will ever be enough. This means these galaxies will never be inside the bounds of what we can see. Or, to put it another way, the universe itself is expanding at the same rate as the visible portion of it. Many galaxies will always remain unobservable because the edge of the observable universe has yet to keep pace with the expansion of the cosmos. Even with our limited capacity for observation, the cosmos remains unbounded. The redshift of a galaxy is used by astronomers to calculate its distance. The Doppler effect causes distant objects to seem to recede from us as the cosmos expands and their light is stretched to longer, redder wavelengths. Photometric approaches based on photos acquired via multiple filters may offer redshift estimates. Still, spectroscopy, which separates light from an object into its component wavelengths, is required for reliable measurements. 
The new research focuses on four galaxies with redshifts more significant than 10. Hubble discovered galaxies now have verified redshifts of 10.38 and 11.58. The two most distant galaxies discovered in JWST photos have redshifts of 13.2 and 12.63, respectively, making them the most distant galaxies verified by spectroscopy. 13.2 redshift translates to around 13.5 billion years ago. Based on photometric analysis of JWST photos, other teams have found candidate galaxies at even higher redshifts. However, these have yet to be verified by spectroscopy. JADES will continue in 2023 with a careful investigation of another field, concentrating on the legendary Hubble Deep Field, followed by another round of deep imaging and spectroscopy in the Ultra Deep Field. Many more applicants in the field are awaiting spectroscopic examination, with hundreds of extra hours already authorized. JWST also discovered six massive galaxies between 500 million and 700 million years after the universe's Big Bang. In a statement, research co-author Joel Lea, assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State University, stated, These objects are way more massive than anyone expected. At this point in time, we expected to find only tiny, young baby galaxies, but we've discovered galaxies as mature as our own in what was previously thought to be the dawn of the universe. The galaxies are so giant that they contradict 99% of theories of early galaxies in the cosmos, implying that scientists must reconsider how galaxies begin and develop. According to current understanding, galaxies originated as tiny clouds of stars and dust that are developed throughout time. Astronomy is driven by theoretical models of how far away or large objects are and how they work. A more extensive examination of additional images and computations may indicate that the galaxies are smaller or closer together, and hence less ancient. However, if their data are correct, existing cosmological theories may need to be tweaked. Because the universe was denser before it expanded, galaxies may have formed quickly early on. We need to comprehend the mechanics behind star creation. Several apocalyptic scenarios about the universe's existence have been offered, but one thing is sure. Everything in the universe is moving and many celestial objects, such as galaxies, are moving away from us. This may be the end of the universe when everything is so far away that nothing can be reached. Nothing can be concluded as being the universe since everything is so far apart that we won't even know it's there. Do you believe the movement of everything in the universe could lead to the end of life in the cosmos? We still need to address such queries. Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.